Hey, good morning. This is Dwayne from the Clock Nook. Coming at you with another video. I am working on an old Ingram out of Bristol, Connecticut. And normally, when somebody has a bushing that is out of round, that's egg-shaped, they'll drill a hole and they'll put what's called a fake bushing into that to hold the bushing in place. Well, this one, somebody used some JB Weld to put that on there. This is a... Uh, hand washer that goes over the shaft to, to put the uh, taper pin in to keep the hand tight and they used this washer this bushing was wore out to this side over here and they used JB Weld to put this washer in place to hold that bushing hold that pivot over where it's supposed to be at haven't seen that one before then down here this is the way a click is supposed to be. The spring comes out, hooks in underneath here, and when you wind it, you hear click, 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 click going out of these gear teeth here. It's kind of dirty. You can't hardly see the teeth. This one, they use JB Weld and just put a wire, and that wire was supposed to hold in there. They put it in behind the tooth here, and that was supposed to hold this click in. Well, if that click comes loose when you're winding it and it's fully wound up, that spring is going to turn that key backwards eight times so fast that you can't get your hand out of the way and it hurts your fingernails. So we're going to put that in correctly so that don't happen to this customer. So this is Dwayne from the Clock Nook signing out. Have questions? Um, give me a call, 816-309-4565. I'll be happy to answer whatever questions you may have.